What would you say to someone who wants to sprinkle a little bit of taste confidence into their lives? Like, what are your tips for overcoming, like, moments of self-doubt? Well, I've said it before and I've said it again, and I'll say it again. You get up in the morning, you look up in that mirror, dead in the glass, no frames, and you say, I am an absolute hand, and everybody loves me. You just give yourself that in the morning. You spray yourself and you say, you smell good, now get out there and get that Greg's, you know? (laughs) Like, honestly, I think it's little things as simple as that. It sounds stupid, but it's true. And, it, like, with other things, just go out, do things for you, be a little bit selfish, but don't hit anyone. Don't stack on anyone's toes. It ain't that serious. Have a good time. And if you're feeling sad, it's all right to be sad. Sit in the sadness, wallow in it, marinate in it, let it coagulate, rub it all over your body, and then in an hour, shower it off. Have a shower, clean your room, go talk to a cat. Go talk to a dead pigeon. Go get a Greg's. Write a book. Write a poem. Spray yourself with something nice. Go to Selfridges if you've got a bit of money. Get yourself a nice little ring. And live your life. I love that. Basically, just get out there and get that Greg sausage roll. That will sort everything out. Honestly, get out there. Get up and get get happy. Get out, get up and get happy. That's my new slogan. I'm going to tell you now. Wait, isn't that when I'm ready for like Ab Fab? I don't know. But anyway, it's mine now. I took it. Sorry. Sorry, Eddie. Sorry, Patsy. Get up. Get out. Get happy. you got one life. Live it. But it's true. Yes. Like, if you, if you feel like shit, you sit at home all day, staring at, like, a gloomy British sky, and it's like, you're just making yourself depressed and more wallowing that depression. Like, you're not going to do anything good for yourself, are you? Get up. Smell the hummus. And live your life. <laughs> you got it. you got one life. Get out there and live it. Some people can't even get up and get out. You know what I mean? You've got to be, for, you've got to be grateful for what you got, mama. Well, babe, speaking of supporting and inspiring others, you are now working with Absolute. And as a brand, they've always ensured their forward thinking, progressive their work, making those statements. And this is why they've naturally launched the platform Born to Mix, which is all about creative collaborations, celebrate the power of mixing it up in drinks, in life, in ideas all to create a better tomorrow, which is what we're all about, that bright future, that getting up, the getting out there that we've all been talking about. One of the things I love about this campaign is it all about celebrating community and collaboration. And I think especially being part of the queer community, that is such an amazing moment when you find your community and you realize how powerful collaboration can be. When do you think Mm -hmm. you found your community? Oh, my community, my people. I mean, mama, when I moved to London, definitely i think that's where i found like my my chosen family not that my fat not that i hate my family like you family i hate you like i love them they're sick um but they're all there they live in their life and i wanted to move i mean i wanted to move to them when i was 16 my mum was like no it's not gonna happen you need to wait till you're 18 um and i came anyway when i was 16 with um a friend i just went to i went to like eight modeling agencies around london i stayed at holiday inn <laughs> and I just went to all these modeling agencies and every single one said, no, you're too young, you're too skinny, you need to put some weight on and come back, but you've got good bone structure. So come back in a few years. And I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. But I was a bit annoyed by it. I was like, oh, squish, squish, cry, cry. Um, and then 18, I moved to London and I, I've worked everywhere that you can think of. Like before, before Drag Race or anything, honestly, like I, I, I nearly fired for my first half, always late, never on time. <laughs> but I've worked in like, you know, you're all saints. I've been dead filing for like lawyers and offices. I've cleaned toilets. I've bartends like three different bars. I, I, I was that bitch on the street with the um, with the GIY, um, the, with the um, the wristbands. Wristbands for heaven. Oh, babe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been there, girl. I've gone around the towns and everything. And on the way, I found my, my, like my good friends, my good friends. And... Just like, not even from good friends to friends I don't, I love, but I don't see all the time, to club acquaintances, but I love, I love them all the same when I'm there. I think it's just, I've lived in them for 10 years. So I think I've naturally just, the family around me just grown and grown and grown. I have an amazing um, close knit circle of my housemates that I live with. I used to, used to live with a horror. She's moved out now, but like, and all the friends I've met from Drag Race, well, I think that's just like my circle and my community of people. And just like being in this world of like fashion, music, technology, that trifecta, like facts, like it all coming together. It just smells so much sweet with this campaign that we're doing now as well. So um yeah, it's really good. Cool. 